Hi everyone, sorry I haven't made a video for a while. I've been a bit preoccupied with the shift and TikTok and things like that and just general life because life has been uh, very much moving in a positive direction lately. I don't know if it has for you guys, but for me it has. Um, lots of new opportunities opening up, uh, cr being cr more creative, things like that with the last energy shift that's happened. And uh, in this video, I basically want to talk about the simulation and uh, something which I came up with quite a while back. I realized that everything is the same. Okay, what I mean by this is that you have to imagine this as a simulation because atoms are basically the pixels, you see, because atoms create everything, even us, everything we see, all our senses are, are formed from atoms. So when you think about atoms, they're the very, very small, tiny little pieces of ether, whatever you want to call it. Uh, scientists don't even know what they are. Okay, but when they're looked at closely, they are literally just a fluctuation of energy. And uh, all these atoms, what the scientists have found is they combine together to make molecules. And when these molecules are formed, they combine together to create all the earth elements, uh, all the things we see in the world, all the different colors, etc. And um, I think of atoms as pixels. And these pixels are unlimited in what they can do, you see. Uh, and it's our imagination that does it. So to me, it's like a kind of sandpit of atoms. Um, and I guess where I'm going with this is that you'll eventually reach a point of your spiritual evolution where you see everything as the same because it is all atoms. So you can be sitting like here in the woods, um, for instance, where I am now, uh, near a little town in the northeast of England, um, which most people, by the way, especially people who live up here would think of this as a, as a, a horrible place to live, okay? They'll think of it as dull, horrible, um, they save up to go on holiday every year, and uh, just to get away from this place and go somewhere hot and sunny where, it's, uh, where there's a beautiful sea. But what they don't realise is that, although that's good, it's good to go out and experience different places in the world, but also there's... Um, there's a realization where you see everything as the same anyway, okay? So I can come out, I can go out to the town center where I live. Um, it's a small town center, just a few thousand people maybe. Um, but there's a Costa Coffee, this is like a Starbucks, there's a Greg's, there's a McDonald's, there's uh, restaurants, there's takeaways, there's all these different things combined in this small area. Um, Plus, close by, there's these beautiful woods, there's coastlines, there's a massive woods over there that, that's like, literally, you can walk 10 miles and still not be round at all. Um, there's beautiful robins there. I don't know if you can see that robin that's just flew on that branch. There's all different wildlife. There's dolphins in the sea, okay? There's seals. There's um, every single thing in the world is here, in a little town in the northeast of England, but it's still here. All you've got to do is go out and look for it, you see? So so what I'm getting at here is that no matter where you are in the world, no matter how much money you've got, um, everything is the same, okay? And when you realize this, this is very, very powerful, you see? Because you can then go out and use that same, okay? The, the atoms that create everything, you can use it to your advantage and create the reality you want based on your perception of it. Um, now I realized this a couple of years ago and then I, I was going out and um, places close to where I live and having an absolute amazing time and even if in, in my head I was like imagining I was on holiday etc because it is all the same anyway um, and my, my friends were like well Lee what are you doing like this is rubbish you want to go somewhere more beautiful like you want to go abroad to the Mediterranean or something like that. And, uh, which is all well and good because I do love the Mediterranean and uh, I do love Amsterdam, that's one of my favourite cities. Uh, but on the other hand, it's good to do that, but it's also good to enjoy where you live as well. See, because when you really look at it, okay, there is no specific difference. There's a difference, yes, there's different people, different types of people, different weather, okay, different types of food, different scenario, surroundings, 
um, but it's all the same as well. <laughs> what I mean by this is people, for instance. I mean, people are all the same anywhere you go, okay? They've all got the same feelings. They've all got the same senses. They've all got the same ways of thinking, okay? It doesn't matter where you are in the world, people are the same. Yes, you might say that some people here um, are, are, are too self-focused or, or selfish and greedy and all this, and um, uh, they don't necessarily care for others. They're too busy rushing around doing... Uh, trying to make money and not stopping to taste the coffee, etc. But yeah, but there is those type of people everywhere, okay? Um, you can go to the Mediterranean, people are very relaxed, okay? Because there's, there's a slow way of life there, but that's just because of the weather. If the weather like was like that here, people would probably be like that here as well. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, there's everything there, okay? When it's hot here in the northeast of England, it's, uh, everybody slows down. Everybody has fun, they go to the beaches, they wear shorts, bikinis, they go out swimming in the sea, okay? Um, but I guess what I'm getting at here is, guys, I'm going on a bit of a tangent here because it's very, very hard to explain this type of realisation when you reach it. I hope some of you have already reached this um, because when you do reach this realisation where everything is the same wherever you go, you can then have the time of your life wherever you are okay wherever you are because you'll literally your mind will be able to go out and find all these beautiful things okay if i if i said to somebody who lives around here who who doesn't appreciate this place i'll say oh i'm going i'm going into the woods by the coast they'll be like oh okay um they'd prefer to maybe go uh, on, on a holiday to Miami, okay, they'll think that's better than going to the woods near the coast. But look at these woods, okay? Like, look at this, this path. Look down there. Look closely at all these leaves with the shiny bits of rainwater on them. Now, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you see? So I can look at this and I can think, well, this is beautiful, okay? This is beautiful. Me looking at this tree, okay, for instance, feeling it, seeing how beautiful it is, is, um, to me, is not, not that much different to being in the Mediterranean looking at a palm tree and thinking, oh, I like these palm trees. But the reason people uh, like to do that is for a change, yeah, and that's fine. But that's good to do. But what I'm seeing here is um, you can enjoy everywhere. Okay, you don't have to go to one specific place to enjoy yourself. Everybody's trying to escape from the present moment. Everybody's trying to escape from, from, from what they're doing now to be somewhere else. But in reality, you don't need to be somewhere else because everywhere is amazing when you really reach this level of awareness and you go out and look for things. You look at what's in front of your nose. You go out and have an adventure, okay? Explore. Uh, appreciation is a big thing. You've got to appreciate everything. I mean, look at this wood. Um, this wood's been created by someone at some point. It was once a tree. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's traditional. Uh, the sky today is not the best because it's a little bit cloudy today. But I'm about to go along this path which leads me to the coast. And there's a beautiful view over the sea when you get to the end of this path. And... Um, even if you're in like a, 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 a horrible, a dark city, okay? If you're in the middle of a city where there is no nature and beautiful coastlines, etc., you can still have a blast, okay? Because you just need to go into the city at night, for instance, and just watch it all, all the life happening, all the cars, go down little alleyways, just explore all the buildings, feel all the buildings, look at the architecture. Um, this is all a choice. Okay, wherever you are in the world, this creation that we've created, and um, this creation is amazing, and it's being created by atoms, and atoms are all one. Okay, atoms are everything. Everything is made of atoms, so it is all the same when you think about it. It's just the way you look at it, and um, the way you, you just appreciate it all, no matter where you are in the world. So... Not only will you appreciate going on holiday somewhere for a, a, a different scenery, different weather, etc. You'll also appreciate being on your front door, looking out onto the street or into your garden and uh, 
traveling one mile down the road and exploring somewhere new there you see so it's it's all the same when you reach this level of understanding and this kind of paradigm uh, which I reached a couple of years ago now and um, yeah that's all I want to say guys so so really think about that and try that yourself because uh, I think this will really show you the world from whole new eyes and um, bring the appreciation back that everybody needs in this world to make it a better place. So that's it guys. Please follow us on TikTok. It's Next Level Awareness. And I'll see you guys on the next video.